appointment yesterday. The security guard and security cops, he was the president for that. And then these guys came out and basically told me that there was no appointment. I could not reschedule that appointment. There was no contact information. Asked me to leave the property. I turned around and left the property immediately. They followed me, tried to get me to stop on the property. I told them no, came to the sidewalk. And then they said they were going to trespass me for being on the property. So, uh, I was... I followed all the procedures. I was here for an appointment. I videotaped myself coming for it. Well, when you were just going to put the appointment was with, what time it was for, okay? It was, okay, I don't know the actual name. It's whoever discusses the actual procedures for their property so that there wouldn't be any trouble. I wrote that also. Well, I'll, I'll give you one statement from so we can get it. Excuse me, officer. I have a question. Uh, I was uh, I was actually told by an officer that trespassing, you know, you're required to uh, be told in front of an officer for it to be considered trespassing. Um, but I mean, but he was never told in front of an officer, right? No. official warning. Oh, it's just warning then. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, you thought it was. Oh, I'm, I no, no, don't no, know. No, you know, I'm just finding out. Let them go through their process. Yeah. Now you know you cannot go on their premises. So he's going to formally tell you. Yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah, I'll go pull him. Okay. So Terry, what's the deal? Um, I guess they're going to give me a trespass warning and I'm going to file a harassment case against them for scheduling an appointment and then filing a trespass warning on me. Okay, so why, why was it you were on their property? For an appointment at 12 o'clock. I was on their property for about four minutes. Okay. From about 11.59 to about 12.03 or 4. And then uh, they told you there was no appointment? There's no appointment. Uh, I asked to reschedule the appointment. They said there will never be an appointment today or ever. And I asked if there was a phone number that I could contact them internally to find out the reasoning. They said there was not that. And then they asked me to leave the property. I turned around and left the property. Cool. Thanks. Yep. 253595. Yeah, Okay. I was like, really? Okay, just don't enforce the minimum. Okay, um, this is the first official warning. You're no longer welcome on the premises. Uh, Mr. Anderson. Yeah, yeah. Right, so you, so you do it now. Chief, Terry, you're on. You're not going to acknowledge it, okay? What are these locations on? Building 576 South King Street. 567, isn't it?
a copy of this then. There we go. Uh, you guys trying to like? I, got, I don't. I just didn't know. I've been on vacation for. I went to Japan. Oh, okay. Sweet, yeah. sweet. How was that? Oh, I was sick, man. I love Japan. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. It's uh, uh these guys are uh, landlords of okay. uh, the Vegas family, and um, basically uh, they own the land. It's a leasehold land, and okay. they're uh, trying to evict them. Where? Which, which land? Uh, it's in Punalu. Oh. Okay. Um, so they're trying to evict them 20, 20 years early, and uh, they've breached the contract. Uh, also, according to the lease, they still have 20 more years to be on that property. Yes, yeah. Like yeah. So they breached, the, be, they breached the contract. They're responsible for flooding the family four times over five years. Uh, just oh, total, like property damage. Property so damage, big time, and uh, you know they've destroyed the property. They destroyed everything on the on the house. If and, uh, and they been for you or just for no, I, we're, we're we're just here to to support, support the family. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Why well, you think he find him? here for the same Uh, yeah. He well, he can't. Yeah, I mean, he supports the family as well. But he came with his uh with his own reasons for you know that's why, why he. Why you guys will be on? Let me say. Yes. Until further notice, until he gets the job done. Uh, well, so you guys aren't like the same group with Occupy. Oh yeah, we're we are. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, I've seen some. Yeah, yeah. Some, some guys over there, but I was like, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. We're just here for support, you know. Like uh, we want to make sure that this family is uh, being taken care of in the way that they should be, you know. Like it's. Uh, if you are old stuff, it should be old stuff. Right, right. That's you know. So, but yeah, you, uh, if you're, if you, uh, Damien, what's up? Yeah. What's it? Mile. Mile. you? Yeah. Yeah, um, check it out on uh, YouTube when you get a chance. Uh, Bishop Estate like Landlord said, Injustice. Vegas, I just said the Vegas family in my pop up. Uh, just uh, Bishop Estate Landlord Injustice or Bishop Estate. Oh, yeah. You know, Bishop Estate so, will come up. Yeah, it's, uh, there's a documentary that we put oh, out so on Bishop there. Bishop Estate is the actual owners of the property. Uh, yes. yes. against the rental agreement. <laughs> So what's the deal with Japan, man? How's things going out there? I know that you got the Fukushima. Nice. We were foreigners, so we're kind of, you know, hesitant, but it was super cool. And the food was amazing. I love the food, so. If you go up here and you have food here, it's like yeah. that even better. Like super fresh. I mean, yeah, 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 fresh for sure, but prepared differently. You know, when you come, usually here in Hawaii, you have all that, you know, it's not really Chinese food. It's like Chinese food mixed in with other cultures. Like that. So yeah, yeah. yeah. So you've got to see authentic style, all they got it done. I like it. Very, but very. But yeah, I didn't see too many protests going on when I was there. Yeah, yeah. I, I, think I wasn't really looking for it. I was right. on vacation. Right. I was in cruise mode. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Trying no, to do I, work while I was there. I, no, yeah, no, I just, I heard the shit was going down maybe like uh, two weeks ago, was it? Like, uh, uh, I don't yeah. even know where it was, but uh, there was like some, some ungodly, things, yeah, but, you know, some no, ungodly probably. number of people were out yeah. there protesting yeah. the nuclear restarts. All the, I, when I just left, I know when I left, they had some huge day after like some huge flooding it was like a typhoon oh really yeah and i know they were having problems with like some of like uh some places the facilities ended up like not i guess like their safety measures weren't up to code or and ended up like causing problems with people who got sick or whatever so i know there was a huge flood in the city that i was in actually so i was like, oh, wow. yeah. so, like i'm glad we got out when i did then i was like so yeah, yeah it was really, actually the day i left was storming like thunderstorm i don't think i a flight excuse me don't i mean okay, you mind if i record you or uh, yeah, you can record yeah. Yeah, yeah i know i just right yeah. since we're uh Casual, yeah, I just want to make sure. Yeah. Um. 
Yeah, well, that's cool, man. So how long were you out there for? Eight days. Oh, nice, okay. nice. Sure. Yeah, I always wanted to go to Japan. Sounds Super like fun. Yeah. I recommend it. Yep. All that I've kind of been there. I went twice as a kid. Uh -huh. I don't really remember much, but your all family that I've been there. or just visiting? Oh, just visiting like school stuff when I was young, like yeah, okay. intermediate school. I recommend it, but if you get a chance, check it out. Right. Cool, cool. Uh, yeah. You definitely gotta go, bro. Right? Oh, I love Japan. I almost didn't go home, man. Right? I was like there. I was like, ah. I was like, so what's wrong? You need one out of continuation or Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got an extra page if you need. You gotta see. You're not annoyed in Iraq. Oh, you can make another case. Maybe like do one. Sure. I would, after this, I'll go in and give you a ride of my own. Uh, uh, yeah. That report's done already. You, you can actually open these other two. Okay. If you have one, you may be there with power. I guess you're wrapping up the NEC battery. Come out here and take it. It shouldn't be fast. I just gotta get uh, the suspect in one, I think it'll be fine. I'll wait for some here too. Yeah, it's coming up on a quick bike. That's why we said you were off, I was like, man, I'll just go there. You guys, are you from here? Uh, well, I've been out here for about 14 years, so yeah. Where are you from originally? Uh, California originally. What part? Uh, Southern Vi uh, Victorville. Oh, okay. I don't yeah. know that, that where exactly, but I've been to California. Mid I was in the middle of the desert. <laughs> I played uh, sports in college at UH. I got to travel to California for that. Oh, okay, okay. I like shoes, shoes, yeah. Good. Yeah, I That's could. That's the one thing we miss here in Hawaii, Mexican food, probably. Oh, yeah, I know, dude. No, there's, there's a good there's small spot. kind, Not yeah, like but. Not like California. No, that's a like that's so that's my biggest gripe about Hawaii is yeah, like there's Mexican. so many like so just yeah Mexican Filipino food, food and yeah. yeah just yeah always other foods but we kind of lack in the Mexican part yeah always and do. and good breakfast you know good breakfast places too that's one thing I miss like there's tons of good breakfasts out in California but not so much here I mean there's small kind but yeah I do wish we had more Mexican food yeah like, yeah I mean like I said the places here are decent but if you've had Mexican food like in San Diego or Southern California Dude, yeah San Diego's like, off the hook yeah. yeah they don't really compare yeah it's like yeah. So how crazy is this, right? We've been out here for three days. Not a word in the paper, not a word on that. Did like, come by? Oh, uh, no, they come by. They've, they've interviewed, you know, like we're, we're waving at K, you know, KITV and KHON and they stuff. Anything, but nothing, right? Nothing. Yeah, yeah well, yeah, it's, but it's just, it, just keep waving them. well, you know, you know, it's silly. They know we're here, you know what I mean? And how it's just funny to me, like, how is this not news, you know what I mean? Maybe, like, maybe I don't know, I mean, they have, I'm sure they have, uh, I don't say criteria, but I'm sure, like, they have cases of stories that come up and help. I'm sure they might have written something else prior and maybe it'll come yeah. up with those. Well, I'm, I'm sure that there's a significant interest from CAM schools yeah. in the media, you know, like that doesn't, I mean, that's, doesn't that's, that doesn't hurt as well, well you know. Based off what we've seen like throughout the rest of the country and stuff, you know, I mean, the news does this on a consistent basis. We'll see, you know, huge stuff going on, huge protests, people getting beat down for just speaking out, you know, whatever it is, but yeah. nothing on oh. the news. No, some crazy, covered. crazy stuff, right? Last night we was, we was watching uh, uh, stuff okay. went down in L.A. last night. Um, um, there was like a bunch of uh, protesters doing chalk on the street, you know, uh, so sidewalk chalk. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. And uh, a bunch of uh, like they've been getting like 18 arrests, you know, for chalking on the sidewalk. And it's and it's you know bullshit, right? They, because it's they, felony they, vandalism is what they're and but it's illegal, right? They can't arrest them for that. Or I don't know, like yeah, I don't know, LA, I don't but, know. But the, but law, but yeah. but yeah, no, it's a nationwide law, right? It's unconstitutional. You can't, you know, like because it's sidewalk chalk. That's, that's what it's for, but. So anyway, you know, like shit went down and they're calling it a riot and all this stuff and uh, a bunch of like some some dude not even a protester, just some dude walking, you know, to you check out. No, you got you got a rubber bullet and you know, bleeding oh. and all this stuff, right? But the crazy thing is, right, we're watching ABC, you know, the news report before we find the live streams of it. And ABC is like showing the guy and they're showing like just his face and he's like you can see he's holding up his shirt but they won't show and they, they're not showing it and they don't talk about how he got hit or anything you know and then we go and watch the same footage from the from the live stream and dude's like bleeding down here from rubber bullet wounds and stuff and he's just like yeah yeah it's crazy you know like you ever been shot by a rubber bullet do they make I've never been shot by a rubber bullet they don't make you guys do that or anything that's crazy you know there there was even another one later on on from that same guy, and he was. This is just a guy walking um, to 7-Eleven, I guess, through the through the riot. Um, got nailed right in the I don't face know if I walked through the riot. If I saw a riot, well, I'd see, go to the next it, it wasn't a riot, you know yeah. what I mean? It's like, that's what the news was reporting. Oh, they're saying, you know what I mean? Because uh, like, and they're saying, you know, the protesters are throwing bottles and rocks at the cops, you know, and like, hey, sure. Hey, what? Yeah, yeah, I got you. Yeah, I got a 
Oh snap. Yeah, one one thousand. You know what? Like, did you have a court date or did you have something like this? Or like a court? Anything else? Like a, like a, like I got a pending DUI and I'm going to continue until it's around the That might be it, but I got a guarantee that. And it could possibly be. Maybe it'll like the, the put in a uh, continuation. Like a, maybe, I don't know if they didn't get it or not. I'm not sure. So. I delivered it to their office. Would you pay well, at least if you take care of it now, you don't have to work hanging over your head. Okay. So, unfortunately, you think it's today's Friday, yeah? so unless you got someone to bail you out, Monday you got to report it. You want your earphones because they're going to take on him. Yeah, you don't want to leave those in cell blocks. You're not going missing or something. But I'll take your phone in case you bail out, you can make a phone call. Do you, uh, do you know what the bail is going to be by chance? Oh, okay. <laughs> thousand, thousand, really. Yeah. That's what they said last time. Oh. You know your clip on your hat, you might want to leave that here. Yeah, yeah. Anything else? Yeah. I mean, you can take whatever you want with you, buddy. Good. Well, yeah. yeah. See you guys later. So you want us to try and uh, get a bond or what? Can. Yeah. All right. Like, is it? You know where it's at? Right here in the back. What I mean? Uh, what is? Where to bail him out? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're, 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 we're familiar. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we want to try and avoid that. Do you know what the bond is for a thousand? It's, it'll be just before one case. So you can, I believe most bondsmen they'll, they'll take. That's the minimum. The 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 anything under usually a thousand they usually bond now. Cause you got to come up with ten percent now. Oh really? I believe at most bond bases one case of them. So you got to fund a hundred and they'll come bond the rest. Okay, so just a hundred then. I believe. Please, Please gotta bro. Try call. Try call the bald guy just to make sure. Like you gotta verify them. To make yeah. Sure. Well, I don't know. You you and by chance have a number to one of them guys, do you? Shoot. Oh, sorry, Ralph. Yeah, I mean yeah, the kind no is up here. No dog and those guys, but there's actually one right across Good the station stuff. too. Right, right across the station. I think it's on the like top floor, or third floor of that building. There's like a stairwell. There's all, I believe there's a bond right there too. Okay. So, okay. So you got. Oh, there's no Wi-Fi. There's a Wi-Fi here. Uh. Yeah. I got internet. Yeah. I was just trying to check though. Google something in the past, like white bonds. See if I can find one and get a number. Okay. So okay. I, don't, I don't even have any bond numbers on there. Yeah, yeah. So. Jeez, well, all right, Mal. Uh, good meeting you, you, man. Yeah, take care. Take care, bro. Let, let us know if you need any help. Right yeah, yeah. Shoots. Shoots. Take it easy, man. Can you, uh, can you uh, send out a group meet? Uh, yeah, I let people know.